everyone and welcome back to a beautiful autumn day here on Moss Leaf Farm in Stardew Valley and I am just so happy to be sitting in here with all of my geode crystals and all of my little my little drum thing, my flowers, my plants, the pictures. I am just so happy and yesterday was an amazing day in the mines. We managed to have a storm so it was a very stormy um, rainy autumn day and it gave us a chance to finally have an opportunity to go back to the mines and do some deep mining and oh my gosh we got really far we got i think to like level 68 almost no maybe to level i don't know i don't know it was really really deep i can't remember exactly which level we got to but i was very very happy with the results and today we are actually going to go ahead and we are going to take these geodes we got seven frozen geodes and another geode from our field that we are going to take over to clint to crack those open and hopefully find something inside it is also a brand new day when it comes to uh the week it's a new week so we should be able to give lots of gifts to people we still have our dinosaur egg that i am so going to hatch right now that is what we are working on we are desperately trying to collect enough money ten thousand gold and enough rocks and enough wood that we will be able to hopefully have a dinosaur in the future which would be so cool but today we definitely need to put our diamonds away we found more diamonds in the mine which is just amazing um in fact i need to put a lot of things away so let's put all of this away for now uh the gold ore we do have some gold ore which is really cool i haven't turned it into gold ingots yet but we will be able to do that in the future um let's grab some of this and i have a new crystal dagger so we got a new crystal dagger it is not as good as my wood club but we might leave the crystal dagger up at the uh, chest that we have by the mines and we just got a recipe actually for bombs so now if we have iron ore and coal we can make these giant bombs so i have a feeling we're going to start doing that a lot more too because that would be super useful all right so let's see what's on the tv really quickly the weather report cloudy with gust of winds throughout the day tomorrow phooey i was really hoping for a day where we could have another storm to go back into the mines but that's okay it's going to be worth it to spend the time this fall really paying attention to our fields getting tons of money that way and let's see spirits are very happy today and then, whoops, yeah, spirits are super happy today. And let's go downstairs. Let's see. Downstairs, let's go to the next channel. Oh, and tortillas. How many of you are gnawing on the microwave convenience burrito while watching this program? Shame on you. You might as well wrap your beans in an old-fashioned rag. A uh, wash rag. Now listen up. Once you've tried my fresh rustic corn tortillas, you'll never go back. Yay! We're learning so many recipes, you guys. And look at this. We have crops to harvest. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Look, we have our first eggplant. Our first eggplant of the season, and we have some mail. What's going on up here? Siri, I found this Siri, I found this recipe in a magazine, and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. <laughs> it's from Shane! Oh my gosh, it's Pepper Poppers! <gasps> we are making so many friends. So Shane has actually given us like two recipes recently. He gave us like a recipe for something cakey, and now he's given us a recipe for like pepper poppers so maybe he likes pepper poppers we'll have to remember that and we're working pretty good on our friendship with everybody except the poor dwarf who i still want to become friends with we'll have to work on that um and our first eggplant you guys we have eggplants to gather oh my goodness and corn there's more corn all right so here's eggplant 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 corn corn and eggplant corn and eggplant and we've got a golden eggplant yay all right well let's go ahead no do not eat it <laughs> Let's go ahead and get rose stone here to help us. This is fantastic. Let's throw this in here. Let's throw this corn in here too. Let's get all of our little ore pieces tucked up where they need to go and pet our chickens. Good morning, ladies. Hello, Marigold. I see you over here, Foxglove. How are you doing? And then Sweet Pea is doing good. And then down here we have Zinnia. Zinnia is also doing good. So let's run up here. And we are going to put all of these over, yeah, here we go. All of the ore I'm going to just tuck inside here. And we actually have a quest right now. 35 copper ores. Oh no, Clint needs that today. And we only have five copper ores collected. Oh boy, that might be kind of interesting. Oh dear. Um, maybe we'll try to do that today. You know what, we'll try to do that today. We'll run up to the mine before we go see Clint to crack open these geodes because I want to make sure that we can try to complete all of the quests we can for all of the villagers because it really does help with the relationships. And we have more maple syrup. Oh yeah, more maple syrup and we're working. Where's my watering can? There we go. And we are working really hard on gathering up 
plenty of honey and everything else. Oh, look at all my little flowers. Once they start blooming, I might be able to replant because apparently when you harvest sunflowers, Foxglove, what are you doing in here? Foxglove is just like hanging out, hanging out with all of our stuff. But apparently once you harvest um, sunflowers, they actually drop seeds as well. And you can replant those seeds or sell those seeds additionally, which sounds amazing. And tomorrow our cranberries should go absolutely nuts. We should have tons and tons of cranberries, which would be fantastic. Basically, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. And I'm not really sure what to focus on first. So, oh no, I'm out of water. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, and the amaranth is not quite ready to harvest. These, this corn, however, is ready to harvest. All right, let's gather this up. Rose stone, help me go faster! And let's see if we can get out of here as quickly as possible. All right, and the the pumpkins are still growing. And I think who said it? I think Leia likes pumpkins. I'm trying to remember. Somebody was like, "So, do you happen to grow any pumpkins?" I'm pretty sure Leia said something about pumpkins. So, but she also loves driftwood. Did we even get to go to the beach yesterday? I don't think we did. It was so, it was so mine focused and it was so worth it. I'm going to love it when it's winter and we have all the time we want to go to the mines. That'll be awesome. All right, let's go ahead and water these guys. And we actually have a ton of the crops for, all of this is basically specialty crops that grow during the fall. So we're going to have tons of that soon. All right, let's water this. All right, that guy's watered. Let's take care of these guys. So much. See, there's just so much to take care of with the watering. And we use up so much energy doing it, having to water everybody. But I, I'm hoping it'll be worth it. Like, I'm really crossing my fingers that this will all be worth it. Even though it takes forever. Oh my gosh, and something's done! <gasps> Yay! All right, so let's water these guys. Okay, so I need to sell this, sell that. We have eggplants. But not enough. Oh my gosh, no. Oh no, we only need one eggplant. We only need one eggplant for the fall crops bundle. Sweet, yes, that is fantastic. And unfortunately, we did not get more of the quality uh, corn that we need for the quality crops bundle, which is really tricky. Like we have four and we need one more quality corn in order to get enough. Um, and let's go ahead and we'll sell the wild honey for now. Okay, put this here. I forgot to put the iron ore in. Mm, these aquamarines, how much do they sell for? I want to give them away as gifts, but I think I'm going to sell them because I'm actually pretty desperate for money right now so that we'll have enough to be able to get our deluxe chicken coop. All right, and we're finally done watering things. So let's put this away. Let's put this away. And we're going to head out, you guys. We still need more wood, but we can come back and try to take care of that. Um, and we're going to go up and try to gather up that copper ore for Clint. So we'll go to some of the easier levels. Gather up that copper ore for Clint. Let's put the maple syrup away really quickly. Maple syrup, maple syrup, maple syrup. Here we go. Maple syrup, gathering that up. Um, let's put the corn away. Let's just put like almost all the corn away. More or less. We'll keep 10 corn and we'll sell 9 corn. And I can actually give away, let's see, I can give away 3 eggplants to celebrate the fact that we have had our first eggplant harvest. Well, I'll give away 2 eggplants to celebrate the fact we've had our first eggplant harvest. I need to stop like saving all of the crops to give to people as gifts. Otherwise, I'll never make any money. There we go. Rosestone, come here, Rosestone. All right, there's my horse. And let's get out of here, you guys. All right, so we're gonna head up to the mines. Um, probably would be better to go this way, to be honest. And we're gonna go get some copper. All right, and how is our wonderful Noodle Doodles doing? Oh, we need to gather the eggs too. Well, we'll have to do that when we come back tonight. Oh my gosh, actually, let's come gather this. Oh my goodness, there's just so much going on, you guys. What am I gonna do with all this? Ah. Oh, Fine, okay, I'm gonna come over here real quick. Gather up these eggs, I can give them away as gifts, potentially. And we're gonna do an experiment where we take a large egg and we're gonna put a large egg into the mayonnaise maker. And yeah, we should have another large egg in here. And we're gonna see how much the large egg uh, mayonnaise sells for compared to how much the normal mayonnaise sells for. So we're gonna go ahead and sell some mayonnaise and let's sell the melon jelly. The melon jelly is worth a lot, so let's go ahead and get another melon in there. So frustrating when we have to like double back when we're doing stuff during the day, but it'll be worth it in the end. Don't you guys worry. All right. I also need to put the iron ore away. And then we're really good to go. And there's noodle doodles, my wonderful noodle doodles. I love my cat. I love my horse too. We really have gotten so much more done. Um, oh yeah, I'm leaving the iron ore. 
We really have gotten so much more done with noodles. It's been awesome. Any fruit? No fruit from the fruit bats. That's just fine. Let's keep moving. And let's go get that copper ore. I don't think we're going to be able to pull it off. Dang it. For Clint. But unless we can find Clint tonight. It's not like he has to be inside of his business. But that would have been ideal. Because we would have known where to find him. Alright. But let's come down. If worst comes to worst, we'll just visit Clint. Um... There's Demetrius. Demetrius! I don't have any corn for him. Darn. We can talk to him at least. It's good to take a break from work now and then. I guess that's the, that kind of thing is difficult when you live on a farm though. Well, that's okay. It becomes your lifestyle. Like in a good way, I hope. All right. So let's see if we can work our way uh, over to the copper. And we're just going to go ahead. I think copper is pretty popular like after level 15. So we're just going to kind of... Oh, there we go. And here we are. Uh, here's an earth crystal. Yes, bug meat! We desperately need bug meat. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. We actually desperately need bug meat, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then, let's see, we need to get rid of these little guys. And I need to smash all of these little guys before they get a chance to grow up. Okay, out of here, out of here. Oh, out of here, out of here. Oh no, I missed one. All right, but that's okay, because we can get down to the next level. And there's some more copper. Sweet. And we have to get out of here as soon as we get enough copper, unfortunately. Hey, get, get away from me, you nasty little bug. All right, get out of here. And then... All right, wait for it. There we go. There we go. Well, we needed more meat anyway. We needed more bug meat. All right, is that enough copper? No, wow. Actually, we need to gather a lot of it. Okay, well, that's probably going to help us out with something in the future. So let's just keep looking. Keep pecking away. Apparently this is harder than I thought. I don't remember it being so hard. All right, let's see, anything in here? Crack that open. There we go. All right, and any copper over here? No. I really don't remember it being so tricky to find copper. That's okay. Finding 35 copper is probably a bit of a high demand compared to what I'm, I'm used to, because you find them like one at a time. All right, so let's see if there's anything else. I would love to help Clint out with this. We just never seem to make him happy anyway. <laughs> All right, there's another level. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is perfect. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So much copper. Oh, hopefully that'll help out. Oh, there's even copper there. Please tell me that's enough. Oh, we're so close to having enough, you guys. All right, we just need to find like a couple more copper veins and then we'll be good. And then we can go out. Oh my gosh. Two more. We just need two more pieces of copper. There it is. There we go. All right. There's one. And then there's a path down, apparently. And there's the last one. There. Now we just need to go talk to Clint. And I think that's all we have to do. Just, like, talk to him. All right. Let's go up. And we're going to get out of here. So his shop will have just closed. But that should be okay. And we got more stone out of it. So that has to be a good thing. <gasps> Linus! Linus, how are you, buddy? There's nothing quite like a field of wild mushrooms in the fall. All right, let's give him an egg. This is a great gift. Thank you. And actually, we can give Demetrius. We can come up and we can give Demetrius one of my egg plants. Just one. Just one. Because we need to actually keep one to put into the bundle. But we can give it to him as a celebratory gift. Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. He loves fresh crops. So that's really good. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to head on down. <gasps> it's a plum. It's a wild plum. Yay. All right. Oh, it's a gold star wild plum. Maybe we should go ahead and try putting that into the... Um, um, the jelly maker at some point. Oh, there's a woodpecker. That is so cool. Oh, are those worms? <gasps> worms! Yes! Good spot. Good eye. Good eye. Good eye, Rose Stone. All right. And let's see. What are we going to find? Who could we... I don't think we have anything to put into... Oh, yeah. The, the eggplant. We need to put the eggplant away. Oh, there's Carolyn. I really made her upset the other day. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. I really... Let's give her the egg. There! Hopefully that'll help. Um, because we kind of... We kind of made her upset because I thought she wanted mushrooms. I thought she asked for mushrooms, so I gave her some mushrooms. Turns out she didn't want mushrooms. She just said, oh, no, 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 no. And, like, freaked out, so I felt really bad. There we go. So we just need a yam and a pumpkin, and then we will complete the fall crops bundle, which will be absolutely amazing. And everything else... Everything else is good. Wild plum... Let's see. Wild plum, artisan bundle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've already finished 
pretty much already finished the um, crafts room. We just need a couple items from winter when winter rolls around. And then we should be able to get the bridge repaired, whatever that is going to do. So that's really awesome. All right, let's keep going, Rose Stone. And I think we need to come down here. There we go, right in front of Carolyn. And now we just need to go, oh, what's this? Hello? Help wanted, trying to keep the artificial alive. I'll pay 100 gold to any fishing enthusiast who catches one large mouth bass. Good luck. All right, well, we'll try that. And then no birthdays today. Hey, Harvey. Hmm, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. I hope you aren't planning on like poisoning the town. I don't have anything to really give him. I want to keep this wild plum, Harvey. You don't understand. I just really need the money right now. Don't worry. In winter, I will give you lots of gifts. I guess I should try to find patients from neighboring towns. That's a see. That's a smart idea. All right, there's Shane. I don't have an egg for Shane today. You again? How many times do I have to tell you to leave me alone? We've caught him on a bad moment. Hey, the grind ball. The grind ball game is on today. Sundays are pretty awesome this fall. So they're pretty happy. I need more things to harvest because they really enjoy when we have like harvested things to give them. Oh, here, here's Penny. I've been trying to keep our place clean, but it always gets messy again. It's hard to run a household all by yourself. Oh, she doesn't really have any support from her mom. Hey, here's to another great week. All right, so everybody's having a pretty good day. Can I, can I take anything from the mayor's trash? No, darn it, no puffer fish in the mayor's trash today. Um, and let's see if Clint is going to come on out because I, I need to talk to him. We did all of that hard work to try to get it to the point where we can speak with him. So yeah, Clint is not here, but he should be coming out soon to go to the saloon. So let's dig around in the trash. Gunther's gonna be closed, so unfortunately I won't be able to give Gunther the dwarf scroll number three that we managed to get our hands on. Oh, and I forgot to leave the, uh, let's see, if I just wait here, well, we'll see if we can meet Clint. We're gonna go run down, see what we can collect from the beach. It's busy, it's so busy, and that's fine. It's just funny, because it's like, I can't get anything done. Because we have so, we have to spend hours watering everything. <gasps> little worms, little worms, what do you have? It's a new book, sweet. All right, new book. Wonderful, another lost book. Let's run over here. There's a new quartz, new refined quartz. Two for five, and now we have more bug meat actually to make into more bait. There's that, so more bait, that's good. And let's come on down, come on Rose Stone. Every second counts and you help me get there. Oh wow, there's actually a lot of stuff down here today. All right, let's gather this up. This and this, and let's put some things in there. And my inventory's full. I'm gonna sell the fiber and the slime, or like toss it. All right, there's that, there's that, this and this, and then inventory is still full. Oh dear. All right, let's come on up. Come on, Rose Stone. There you go, good girl. All right, and then we're gonna leave, let's see, all of the bait but one. And what can I leave here? I guess white algae, the clam? Come back and pick up the oyster later? I guess I can do that. All right, oh, and there's a clam over here too. All right, let's pick this up. Nice, scored another clam. Oh my gosh, and there's some worms. Ah, so much stuff, so much stuff. And now, I, <laughs> now I'm out of room again, Rose Stone, what have I done? All right, let's come over here. And I'm just gonna put like this away, put the cockle away, and then let's go see if we can grab the trash. There we go. That's all we needed to do, just grab this trash, fill that up, Come over here and let's see what the worms are hiding. Maybe it's like treasure. Oh, it's glass shards. Well, I do like collecting the glass shards. It's just fun to have those little artifacts collected up. All right, and then let's go ahead, grab the trash, put it in the recycling machine. I can probably start taking the recycling machines back with us, because why not? And I want to start doing some fishing again as soon as we possibly can. But let's go see if Clint is up at the saloon right now. And then maybe, since it's already so late, I might work a little bit on gathering up more wood. Since having that wood is going to be really essential once we have enough money. Alright, let's see. Clint, sweet, there you are! Um, I don't want to give these to you as a gift. I'm, I'm gonna have to sell this. What am I gonna do? White algae, you're getting out of here. There we go. Alright, there we go. Clint, you brought the ores I requested. Excellent. Hmm, seems like these ores don't have any rare gems hidden inside. That's okay. Here's your ores back and your payment, as promised. Don't you have any work to do? Hey, dude, I just gave you a bunch of work. There we go. Woo! We did that. That makes me so happy because hopefully he'll be a little bit happier and everybody will be happy. And there's Marnie and I don't really have anything to give anybody. <laughs> so we're just going to head out. No, I should talk to everybody real quick. 
because every little bit that you talk with somebody actually will increase their relationship with you. All right, everybody wants to know if I have any work to do, jeez. And it's like, yeah, I'm doing tons of work. Nothing like a, a sunny Sunday to lift the spirits. Emily is so cheerful. All right, I think that's everyone, unless there's anybody hiding over here in the corner. Nope, all right, we're good to go. We already talked to Shane. He already told us to buzz off. <laughs> but we are becoming friends with him, so that makes me happy. All right, and we're gonna wiggle up here. Come on, Rose Stone. We're gonna get out of here. And we found a book today, which is good. And we found a lot of things to harvest, so I'll sell some stuff. But yeah, I think that's about it. Let's go check on our other let's go check on our other mushroom tree to see how our other mushroom tree is doing. If it has grown anything interesting, which would be pretty fun. Alright, we're gonna sell basically all of this. Should I sell the lobster? Did I sell my last lobster? I feel like I sold my last lobster. Um, I did. It's worth a lot, actually. So I'm going to sell my last lobster. And we're going to have to crack open these geodes in the morning. I need to be a little bit more organized. I'm getting a little bit chaotic again. Just trying to get everything done. All right, let's do that. Going to keep that. There we go. All right, jump over here. Rosestone, you're so awesome. And then let's see. What am I going to put in here? Uh, the glass shards, which are kind of like my treasures. I like to collect my treasures. The earth crystals, which are extremely useful. Um, the wood, we're slowly but surely building up that big pile of wood that we need. Let's see, let's come over here and leave the plum over here until our little preserves jar is done. And we really need to make a lot more preserve jars, but we're just so focused on some of our other projects, that's going to have to wait. All right, so that's going to have to wait. That's good, that's good, that's good. Our little kitty is sleeping. Everything is watered and taken care of. We should have our very first cranberry harvest tomorrow. That will be amazing. That will be really cool when we get the cranberries. Because that should pour in a lot of money for us. So that will be awesome. All right. And I'm going to get my little axe. And I'm going to cut down a couple more trees before the end of the night. And it is time to go to bed. And then I will see you guys in the morning. And hopefully I'll even have a bonus, a little bonus mushroom from our little mushroom tree that I'm about to check on. So we've got one mushroom tree up here. And oh my gosh, it already has another mushroom. So that means our other mushroom tree definitely has a mushroom. So I'm going to blaze a path down to it. Maybe like have to physically work a path to it. Oh my gosh, look at this. And then that way we'll be able to collect mushrooms from it as well. I think it's somewhere over here. There it is. Oh, I haven't put a tapper on it yet. Okay, I need to put a tapper on it. And then we will be able to collect plenty of mushrooms from it as well, which is super useful. I wonder if anybody likes the red mushrooms or if we can use them in something. I'm going to have to figure that out. But all right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.